So guys, I don't even know when we are going to get out of this uh, whole issue of uh, SME in this country. It's unfortunate, really unfortunate, so because there's nothing we can even see. Because if the police who are saddled with the responsibility are not doing their job, so what do you expect the masses to do? You are expecting them to seek to, uh, you know, to go on safe defense, and that is what a lot of people have been suggesting. Some suspected Fulani headsmen in Mararaba, Rido, Chukun local government area of Kaduna State have kidnapped a Sikh police officer, a 14 year old girl, and two others. They were abducted in the early hours of today, Friday. The Christian Association of Nigeria Khan Chairman Kaduna North Local Government Reverend Elisha Abu Dreams said that his house was first attacked by the same suspected kidnappers around 11.57 p.m. According to Reverend Abu Dreams, the suspected kidnappers first came to my house at exactly 11.57 p.m. and they called spoke in Fulani and Hausa language that I should open the door for them. Immediately, immediately, I and my family started praying for divine intervention from God Almighty. While we were praying and refused to open the entrance to the house, they tried using hammer to break the entrance to the house, but could not succeed. While they were making efforts to have their way into the house, we were still praying to God for help. Ha! So what happened? I think that's just the, uh, the, the message or the narration of the, of the pastor. <laughs> you know, you can imagine if they had gained entrance into that house. And meanwhile, maybe, of course, since uh, they couldn't enter, they had to go elsewhere. According to what the man said, that they first came to his house before they uh, kidnapped uh, the sick police uh, officer. Like I said, when are we going to get out of this whole thing? See the Uniben girl, that uh, incident, that the police will learn that uh, the IGP. So, oh, he was so interested in that case. He had to send people, you know, to help the police in uh, those states, to help them work together so that they will be able to get uh, the desired result, which we are hearing now, or which we have seen now. But they cannot do the same when it comes to Hesme. Why? Like I said, when are we going to get out of this whole thing? Why? Why is it that it is difficult when it comes to Hesme? But if it is a other this thing, they will go extra mile if they want to work because it is not even in all cases that we really get to the roots of this whole thing. So why is it that it's so difficult? At least your your guess is as good as mine. We all know what has been going on, and they will just tell you. The government will tell you, oh, it is a farmers' a headers clashes. It goes beyond that. See what is happening in Southern Kaduna, and they will tell you they are dragging a uh, uh, territory, they are dragging land, they are dra dragging this. If that is the case, if people are dragging land, they will go to court. That is what I know uh, in a, at least in other regions. If you are dragging land, the next thing they will go to court. Why is it that these people are taking lives of lives of other people? At the end of the day, they will be reprisal. That is what the government needs to do to be able to put a stop to all this. But when you just say, oh, it is a uh, headsman or elders and Farmers and clashes. What does that tell one? So does it mean that you're not going to restore peace in that environment? You don't want to restore peace in that environment. How for how long are we going to continue like this? For how long? You know, everyone is just uh, 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 securing himself. Everyone is securing himself, and those people who are committing these uh, atrocities, they are getting stronger and stronger every day because they are not being brought to book. Nothing is being done to them. And from what people are, have been seeing and what people have been saying, it's like the government is not interested. And if you you act in this manner and your body language suggests that you are not interested, then what do you expect people to do? You expect people to say, oh, yes, you are doing well. In the real sense that nothing, has, nothing is, uh, is being done and the people who are being affected are being affected almost every day almost every day it's been repeated you know repeat it has been a repeated uh, cases and you expect the people not to insinuate you expect the people not to say anything you expect people to be praising the government why they themselves their lives are, are not safe they are always living in fear this whole thing is is, is something else if other international community they begin to uh, say their own report or say what they have they, what they know some groups will start coming out and be saying, oh, they should just go and keep quiet. They should keep quiet. They should not say anything. Uh, they are, that is not the uh, issue on ground. And these same people, they will tell you that, yes, they know that uh, there are pockets of uh, uh, whatever here and there. 
then if they are dead, then why is it that it's been a a continuous thing that you cannot even tell government, but you you can quickly jump at international community to say they don't know what they are talking about. That some people are feeding them, some people are feeding them with a fake information, or they are being misled with the narratives out there in the public space. They are forgotten that the world is a is a global village that anybody can get anything you know at their disposal if they are interested. I think a, a lot of people will not even be surprised with this happening but the unfortunate thing is that i hope it will not get to anybody you know for the fact that people are they are used to this or they've been hearing this over and over again and nothing has happened those who did not who were not affected when it was happening now they are being affected now because when it was happening at that time when people were complaining those who are affected now never envisaged that it's going to get to their own son so those who are even talking about those who are being affected now i hope uh, you know, it will not get to their tongue. That is where the problem lies. Even if we continue to say, oh, we are not interested. Oh, we know what has been happening. That nothing will be done. I hope it will not get to our tongue as well. So that they will not use us as a as an example or as a, as a case study. I don't know. I don't just know. This thing is just, it's just too much. In the last administration, we know what this same present government, when they were in opposition, what they were doing. We know what individuals, we know what, what the masses were into. They were, they were protests, they were talks here and there. But now, it's like people cannot talk because the government of the day is trying to keep people under the bus or to throw people under the bus by intimidating. You cannot protest, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. And even those who are even trying to be economical or who are trying to be, how will I put it, so those who are trying to be politically correct, they have been talking and nothing has changed. Nothing has, has been done to their complaints. So what are we going to say? What are we going to do at this period of time? See what happened even in Oyo recently. The same S-Men too. The same S-Men. It's, un it's, un it's unfortunate. Okay, police soldiers and DSS cannot stop Fulani S-Men from killing and kidnapping. They only have power to kill innocent and unharmed IPOP members. This is nonsensical nonsense. This government is nothing but a vacuum and it seems it has to be painfully endured until its tenor ends if that is the will of God. You can imagine. What kind of can people be living in this kind of a environment and you are just pained knowing that uh, those who are saddled with a uh, responsibility of protecting lives and properties are not doing anything. They don't even see it as a big deal. That is where the problem is. Whether they are overwhelmed, whether it is a deliberate act, it is what people cannot just really fathom. Whether there's an agenda, you know, there are many, many narratives out there. And you don't, you don't, you don't, you can't blame people because if things are done in a, in a normal way or in a right way, people will still commend the government just like the way we are, uh, 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 saying kudos to the uh, uh, Nigerian police for their discovery for what they have just done concerning Uwala's case in Benin City. So if the if if the government is doing the right thing, definitely the, the people will be happy and they will still encourage them, they will still praise them. But you cannot expect people to be going through those suffering and you expect them not to talk, not to say anything. You can't beat a child and you expect that child not to cry. It does not work that way. So guys, let's hear your opinion concerning this. Leave your comments below and let us know your thoughts.